fam welcome back to my channel i know i've been mia for quite a while but honestly i've been focusing a lot of my time on growing myself but i am back and i'm coming out with a lot of content within the upcoming weeks and months so please stay tuned if you're not subscribed please subscribe to the channel hit that like button i stay in tune for the drops if you're not go follow me on tiktok go follow me on ig those links will be in the bio so support your boy Today, I want to do a quick video because I just got back from Miami uh, a day ago. So I'm all over the place, but I am two meals in currently on the day. So I'm about to go get this workout in, um, do a little bit of food shopping. So just follow me through those quick things today. So we are starting off with the pre-workout. As you can see, it's probably about a scoop left before I'm gonna have to re-up. But I've been on this because I've been trying to shred a little bit and this has the thermogenics inside it. First time having this, but I honestly can't complain. It's some good stuff. So we're gonna start off with some pre-workout. Feeling good. About to get this food shopping in right now. Yep. Oh, I just got back from Trader Joe's. I forgot to record the Trader Joe's haul, but I'm gonna let you know what's in my bag in a second. But today's workout consisted of mostly back, upper back, and lats. So Mondays, which is today, I usually do a lat. And depending on what I'm lacking, um, a tricep or bicep movement. Today, I focus most of my uh, movements on the triceps and a little on the biceps but pump was there i skipped cardio but um most of the time i am doing cardio uh five to six times a week but today i'm just i'm readjusting back to my normal schedule i'm off from works but i'm still readjusting my body back to eating clean i didn't go too crazy in miami but um i did go off my plan in a sense but uh yeah it was a great it was a great time in miami uh, me and my boy me and my cousin uh, celebrated our big 3 0. So, if you don't know, I just hit 30 years old. Uh, if it's your birthday, make some noise! Uh, it's just the next chapter in life. Um, super excited. Uh, Miami was fun. Cool vibes. Very, very, very uh, chill mood out there. Uh, went clubbing, hit different type of clubs. I'll go in detail a little bit later about where I, where I went, what I did. But you know me, I had to go to Muscle Beach, had to get that workout in for sure. Um, forgot that they had weights again, so I'm over there doing a full body weight workout on the beach when the sand feels good with the sand in your toes, so I definitely had to do that. Um, but let me get inside real quick. I'm gonna show you my bags right now. They're in the back of the car. Show you what I got from Trader Joe's. This is probably gonna last me about two to three weeks because I do some, some stuff in the crib already, but I'll let you know what I have. All right, so the first bag consists of pasta. So a lot of pasta right now while I'm baking, jasmine rice, pasta sauces. Then uh, my lady needed some rice cakes. I got some cucumbers for the vegetable alkaline, organic uh, cucumbers. Then we have strawberries at the bottom. I believe that's it in there. Then we go in the next bag and we have some chickpeas. You know, chickpeas can't go bad. 
Trader Joe's peanut butter, some more pasta back there, brown rice pasta, and bananas. Let's talk Miami recap real quick. So as I told you, I spent my 30th birthday in South Beach. It's like a mini Vegas. I uh, spent a couple days out there, first couple nights, chilled on the beach. Uh, hit up some of the local bars on Ocean Drive, the Clevelander, a couple of the Latin spots. All chill, nothing too crazy. Next night, we were told to hit up some of the local spots. So we were told about Brick House. We were told about Racket. Um, dope, honestly. Brick House, I don't have any footage from Brick House, but Brick House was a good time. I got messed up out there, man. Honestly, good drinks, good music. It was just the vibes is all vibes. So then after that, the next night we hit Racket. So I recommend everybody go to Racket. Racket was dope. Racket's not a huge spot, but um, from 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 opening, probably got there about <clears throat> a little after midnight. Club ends at three o'clock in the morning, stayed all the way to closing. Music was popping, DJ was popping. Vibes is just great there. A um, little bit of a pricey spot, especially when you're trying to buy drinks, but all good vibes. Um, I was able to get a couple, two workouts in on South Beach. So every, everyone knows South Beach has a little workout section with uh, bars, pull-up bars, all that dip bars, and they also have weights. So I was able to get a, um, a full body weight workout in. Haven't done that uh, in quite a while since I've been out there. Um, so that was fun. Went to, ate some good food. One spot that stood out to me was this burger spot. Um, I'll put the burger spot on the screen. I don't really remember the name. Um, but we had a plant-based burger. I think it was, I think they used impossible meat. Man was like, I don't know. That thing was like, uh, what was that? Five inches tall. That, that burger was banging. Had some onion rings, some french fries on the side. Uh, it was beautiful. But I just want, I just wanted to really talk about that real quick because I just had a great weekend in South Beach, and uh, to many, many more of those good times. But vibes was all vibes. But I'm um, just gonna close the video. Out close the video out right here if you stay to the end i always appreciate you remember to subscribe uh stay in tune for some of the uh drops coming in the future in the upcoming weeks and months uh and like i always end my videos be the best person you can be in 2022 thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one